Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Today we're going to be testing out the age-old question. What if we use Warriors without smoke? Now this is probably a combination you guys have been doing since you started playing Boom Beach. Well, no, 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 I shouldn't, no, let me rephrase that. This is a combination you used to use, most of you I'm guessing, before you unlocked smoke. So we're going to be reliving our past lives and trying to defeat a couple bases without using smoke and still using warriors. There's many ways you can do it. I'm thinking of a couple off the top of my head. One, we could shock stuff and try to still flare to the headquarters, or we could drop our troops and let them roam the base to try to defeat it. So we're gonna try a couple attack strategies. We're gonna start on an NPC base, or maybe a few, until we figure out a good plan and a good, uh, a good strategy and then we could transfer it over to a player base and see if we can pull off I'm just hoping for one dub in today's video and if we can do that then yeah I'll say it's a good strategy so I'm not allowed to use smoke of any kind I can use medkits use flares I can do all of that jazz but I'm not allowed to use smoke that is considered cheating that was a really fail. That was a very failed shock, I meant to say. Okay, there seems to be a lot of splash damage up in here. So we're just going to keep our troops with some nice uh, med kits on them. Of course, this is not an optimal strategy, but it is a strategy nonetheless. That is one base okay shock therapy we'll try this base and if i can do this i'm thinking just dropping my troops and not really oh i almost dropped smoke i think if i just drop my troops and let them roam kind of like the way i've been doing this possibly Ooh, that barrage may have been a problem problema get my kit down Let's flip to the headquarters and start taking that bad boy down. Drop a shock. Mainly it's stuff like machine guns, flamethrowers, shock launchers. Rocket launchers kind of hurt, but not that bad. I'm thinking maybe a different hero would work better, but I'm trying to think of a good hero. We're going to try Dr. Caban. We'll bring Second Wind, of course. Oh, by the way, the... Oh, by the way, guys, in the trader, since they uh, messed up on the warship update release, um, they gave us a couple offers. You could get 10 power powder for 500 gold, so for free, and also 15 trader tickets for free, which is nice. I mean, it, it's a little something to try to calm people down. Okay, this is perfect. A level 50, which has prototype or who has prototypes down who drops prototypes as a level 50 i don't care guys i'm just gonna roam the base and take the base down it'll be easy Ooh, i got a hit off though that's uh that is rough okay we'll keep our troops yeah this would be so easy this guy has nothing on me Probably could have broke the core down a lot also. We even spawn a couple more warriors in to help us out. I gotta tell you guys, I'm really enjoying... I actually lost quite a few. I am really enjoying my almost maxed out second wind. It's nice because it spawns so many troops and it's very helpful when you have all riflemen. And it just spawns like... 18 riflemen right off the bat for you It's a lot I should try to make a video where I see how many riflemen I can get down. I would need that one op base that has um, of Like a bunch of free saws on the left hand side Okay, a level 48 we're going down a little but this guy Seems harder. He doesn't have any prototypes well, I mean, prototypes that can hurt me. So. That's a step lower, but his base design overall is stronger. I think he has some ice down. Yeah, he has ice in life. What a guy. I don't really understand some people, guys. 
Okay, I take back what I said. This base is definitely easier than the other base. I just whipped that guy. I love warriors. You guys know that. I love myself. A batch of good warriors. Okay, so far, the strategy without using smoke is working very well. Let's grab these dark shards and continue our quest to getting up to a higher level player and taking him down using warriors without smoke. Hmm, 56. That's a step up. This guy has a weird base design. I don't really know what he's going for. His boosted ice is kind of annoying. So I don't really know what to do. But we're gonna... Shock some... St oh, I keep wanting to use critters. I mean smoke. I'm gonna shock some stuff and try to get our, our troops in the back. Back corner. Okay, we're gonna sit right on this microwave or take it down and just wipe out this entire area. It's gonna help take out this boom cannon. It's dealing some damage. Oh, nice. Space was easy. It would have been even better if I had smoke, but so far we defeated up to a level 56. Of course, these bases are not the best against anti-smoke warriors so that might have something to do with it but that was a level 56 okay if there's a level 60 or something that would make the perfect progression 62 let's scout him out to see how good he is and see if we can take down this player okay I might have a chance he doesn't look overly awful <laughs> he looks I, I'm, I'm gonna try to get right up here take down some of those buildings above the core and then just walk down on top of the core my strategy is using warriors as I would if I had smoke which I don't because it's against the laws of the challenge okay let's bark down some of these oh, let's see it's hard because you don't want to want to kill your own troops there. Right. Ah. We are gonna med kit. My troops are hurting. It's also nice because they spread out so much, so it's really nice to get them in a nice even clump. And there we go, a 62. You know, to be honest, I wasn't expecting to get up as far as I have gotten up using no smoke. I wasn't expecting it to be this strong. Of course, I am defeating players at 600 victory points. So that might have something to do with it. Okay, here we go, guys. All or nothing. This player doesn't look too bad. I mean, I'll definitely... I shouldn't say definitely. I should be able to get this and if I can't get this I have a problem because this is a pretty easy base design we're just gonna place ourselves right above the core I have a feeling this was a anti hammerman base design because he has microwavers up in the front it looks like we're gonna lose Dr. Kavan once again but in the meantime when all my chips are fighting we're gonna start taking down some of these buildings. Oh man. My troops are beasts. Look at this. I'm wiping down this player. And I do still have Kavan. Let's boost him up. Oh my gosh, that base was so easy. And I probably, it wouldn't have made a difference. It probably helped me when I didn't use smoke because I didn't really have to use as much energy. I guess I had to use energy for critters. I think I dropped an extra box of critters I didn't need to, and also I dropped a shock. 
which I would not have had to drop if I had smoke. Okay, I'm feeling one more base. Someone semi hard. You know, it could be a level 54. No, it could be a level 64. Just can't be someone crazy hard. And I want it to be a step up from the last player. I know the last player was a 64, but his base design kind of sucked. This would be an ultimate. This would be the ultimate win if I could pull that off. He does only have two ice. I don't know. His base design is a really good base design against warriors with no smoke. Even though it's kind of a strategy I made up. I'm pretty sure nobody at this top level is using a strategy like this. It's such a dumb strategy. I don't really know. See, this is such a new strategy. I don't know what to do. I think the main thing is not letting too many of my warriors die. So dropping a lot of shocks, dropping a lot of med kits, taking down buildings, I think is the way to go. So we'll just keep med kits loaded. We'll boost up Dr. Kavan a couple more times to get troops going, troops popping. And now we have a decent number of warriors hitting that core. We're going to be able to do it. Dang, this strategy is not as bad as I thought it would be. I was able to defeat pretty much everyone. Okay, I was able to win every battle, but I'm guessing there were players in my map, which I didn't attack, that I probably wouldn't be able to, to defeat using no smoke. But it was a fun challenge nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like as always, and I'll talk to you guys in the next Boom Beach video. Bye.